All right, now here we have got the Galaxy Watch Ultra, and I also have the previous year's uh, flagship, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. And in this video, we're gonna compare these two watches, and I'm gonna tell you whether you should upgrade from Galaxy Watch 6 Classic to the Galaxy Watch Ultra or not. And I'll also tell you which is the right watch for you in 2024. First, let's check out the design here. You see, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic comes with this classic design, the circular bezel, and uh, we have got this rotating bezel on this watch, which is just fantastic, and we, there is a lot of fan followers for this particular rotating bezel which is missing on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Now rotating bezel is something which matters a lot for a lot of uh, people out there. Uh, you guys love rotating bezel, even I love rotating bezel but that is missing on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Now as far as the materials are concerned on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic we have got the stainless steel material whereas on the Galaxy Watch Ultra we have got the titanium frame uh, right on top here and this is great for titanium which we have here but the side of this watch is not titanium it's only the front uh, here that is see this is titanium on the Galaxy Watch Ultra and that makes the Galaxy Watch Ultra a bit more premium compared to the Galaxy Watch uh, 6 Classic. Now when it comes to the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic we have got 47mm and 43mm so uh, you have options to choose from and we also have LTE and Bluetooth variants on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic that is something to note. So we have got options available when it comes to Galaxy Watch 6 Classic uh, however on the Galaxy Watch Ultra the only variant we have is LTE and the only size we have is 47mm so that is something to note here. And on the front we have got sapphire crystal on both these watches uh, basically both these watches are tough uh, even though this is uh, the aluminium frame that we have this watch looks tough I've been using this watch for uh, the last one year I don't see any scratches or any smudges on this watch uh, it is uh, as good as brand new I just started using the Galaxy Watch Ultra and I will be reviewing it very soon so stay tuned for that video now in terms of weight the Galaxy Watch 6 classic uh, bigger version here you see this is 47 mm and uh, this weighs about 60 grams in fact it's 59 grams and the watch ultra is also 60 grams so in terms of weight there is no difference if you're buying the larger variant of the galaxy watch 6 classic however if you go for the smaller variant the weight will reduce a bit somewhere around 51 or 52 grams is the smaller variant uh, whereas the ultra comes in only one variant so this is about 60 grams uh, even though it looks uh, heavy it is pretty comfortable to wear on the wrist and when it comes to the dial size here you see we have got 1.5 inches dial uh, the circular uh, dial that you see here in the uh, galaxy Galaxy Watch on the Galaxy Watch Ultra is as same as the Galaxy Watch uh, 6 Classics bezel. However, on the Watch Ultra, we have got this uh, squircle shaped frame which makes it look unique. So Samsung is able to fit in a bigger battery on the Galaxy Watch Ultra because of this design factor maybe. But if you look at Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, that also has 590mAh battery and that is in circular form. So maybe uh, that is uh, not going to lead you to a bigger battery. I mean, the, this uh, design is not going to lead you to a bigger battery. Maybe Samsung has made this design choice for some other reasons. And in my opinion, this also looks beautiful, but it is subject to, uh, I also prefer the design of the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. But I'm sure most of the people People would prefer the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic's design elements compared to the Galaxy Watch uh, Watch Ultra's design elements. Now this is a subjective matter. You let me know which design do you prefer, whether you prefer the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic design or the Galaxy Watch Ultra's design. Drop a comment. Now in terms of brightness levels, the Watch 6 Classic offers almost about 2000 nits of brightness, whereas the Galaxy Watch Ultra offers 3000 nits of brightness. So under harsh sunlight, the visibility will be better on the Galaxy Watch Ultra compared to the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. And you can also see we have got three buttons on the Galaxy Watch Ultra, whereas the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic has got just two buttons. Uh, the third button here, the center one here, acts as a dedicated button for enabling certain features from the watch. You'll be able to set a workout for this button, or you can set the stopwatch for this button. So basically, uh, it's very functional button that we have on the Galaxy Watch Ultra, which we don't get on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Now, talking about the bands, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic bands is just about 20 mm, and we will be able to use this band on all other uh, predecessors as well like the Galaxy Watch 6, uh, the Galaxy Watch 5 series and the Galaxy Watch 4 series. However, uh, this is the proprietary band that we have on the Galaxy Watch uh, Ultra and uh, we will not be able to use these bands on any other uh, predecessors. And if you want any other band, you will have to buy it separately from uh, the Samsung itself. And I don't think uh, we have any third party bands available for the Ultra as of now. Maybe in the future we will have those bands, but I'm doubtful about it. Let's hope that we will have some third party bands as well, because the Samsung's own bands for this Ultra is gonna be very, very expensive. So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the sensors that we have on these two watches. On the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, we have got four 
four LED sensors, uh, which is quite accurate for uh, health centric measurement. Uh, so far, Samsung has been using the same uh, sensor, uh, the bioactive sensor. However, on the Galaxy Watch Ultra, now we have got the all new bioactive sensor, which is more powerful, more accurate compared to the predecessor. Uh, and this has got almost about 13 LEDs to measure health data more accurately. So that is something to note. So this is a very big upgrade on the Galaxy Watch Ultra we are getting, and that is not available on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. So almost all the health centric features are measured more accurately on the Galaxy Watch Ultra, but that is something we need to test and see. Maybe in the future, I will try to test the accuracy of these two watches and post a video. Now let's talk about the battery life on these two watches. Uh, first of all, the Galaxy Watch Ultra have received uh, just a day ago and I'm still testing the battery performance on this watch. But I can give you some information about uh, the watch's battery life based on my last one day's usage. But that will be too short period to uh, test the battery life and let you know guys, I have a separate uh, video coming up on the battery test results so I will post that very soon. But now let's talk about the battery performance on these two watches. Uh, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic uh, offered in two variants with 3425mAh battery depending on the size of the watch. And this watch lasts about about one and a half days uh, with all the health centric features turned on and with always on display turned off. And if it is an LT variant, maybe it will last a maximum of one day, not more than that. So that is a bummer, but uh, uh, these smartwatches uh, based on Wear OS will last about one to one and a half days. So on the classic, we get about one and a half days of battery life. But when it comes to the Ultra, we have got 590mAh battery on this watch and that battery is really needed for all the all new uh, bioactive sensors that we have got and uh, the additional features that we are getting on this watch. Plus we have got 3000 nits of peak brightness in the outdoors so uh, the battery consumption will be high on this watch as well. And in the last one day I have tested the watch with uh, always on display turned on, all the health centric feature turned on uh, during exercise and rest of the times I had turned off the health centric features and the always on display was turned on and uh, without the LTE I got exactly about 24 to 25 hours of uh, battery life which I would say is not that great for now but maybe I'll have to change some settings, tweak some settings to uh, improve the battery performance and see how it performs. I would say uh, on the Galaxy Watch Ultra with always on display turned off and LTE on, uh, this watch may last about a day to one and a half days max. And with the power saving mode, of course, uh, as Samsung claims, almost about 100 days of uh, 100 hours of battery life. Uh, but I would say it should last about uh, three plus days on the power saving mode. Uh, with LTE turned on and without LTE, it should uh, last about three and a half days is what I'm expecting. But I will do a thorough review of the battery uh, test results very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Now let's check out a few more spec differences between these two watches. Uh, the predecessor, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic comes with 16 GB of storage, whereas the Watch Ultra comes with 32 GB of storage, which is uh, double the storage of the predecessor. So if you're into adding a lot of music or any other media files, then this watch is gonna be the right one for you. Uh, and when it comes to RAM, both have got 2 GB of RAM and the processor is W1000, the Exynos W1000 on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic which is an upgraded version based on 3 nanometer process and when it comes to the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, this uh, chipset is based on 5 nanometer process and this is the Exynos W930 chipset that we have on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. So when it comes to the operations, it will be a little more smoother and faster on the Watch Ultra. In my experience, the Galaxy Watches uh, tend to uh, lag a bit in the long run. So that is something which I faced on all my, uh, all my previous Galaxy Watches and hoping that the latest watch, the Galaxy Watch Ultra's uh, new chipset should help the uh, operating system run smoothly in the longer run as well. Okay, now let's talk a bit about the softwares on these two watches. The Galaxy Watch Ultra is currently running on Wear OS 5 and uh, One UI 6.0, the Watch 6.0, whereas the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is currently running on Wear OS 4.0 and the One UI version is 5.0. Now this watch is expected to get the update very, very soon. Uh, already the beta testing is going on for the Galaxy Watch 6, 5 and 4, and we will get the latest Watch One UI 6.0 very soon on the predecessors, but for now, the latest version is currently available on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Now, as far as the software upgrade eligibility is concerned, uh, Samsung announced that they will be providing the major software upgrades for at least about three to four years on the Galaxy Watches running on Wear OS. So the Classic should get at least another two to three years of major software upgrades. This year, anyways, we are getting the One UI 6.0 and after that, we may get another one to two years of uh, major upgrades on this watch. And uh, the Galaxy Watch Ultra should be eligible to get at least another four major uh, Android upgrades or let's say uh, One UI upgrades on this watch. Now let's talk a bit about the health-centric features on these two watches. 
Uh, now, most of the health centric features are currently available on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic as well. May it be heart rate measurements, BP measurement, uh, ECG measurements, and uh, uh, biomass index measurements, uh, sleep tracking. All these are uh, currently available on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. However, the accuracy of these health centric measurements may be slightly better on the Galaxy Watch Ultra, mainly because of this all new bioactive sensor that we have got on this watch. But there are some exclusive health centric features available currently on the Watch Ultra. Uh, something like FTP metrics for cyclists and we have got energy score uh, we have got uh, the AGEs index and all these you know features are currently available on this watch however some of them will also come to the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic we are going to get better sleep measurement metrics on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic we are going to get some AI integration as well on the Classic and uh, we will get the AGEs index feature and we are also getting the energy score uh, for the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic so some of these brand new features available on the Ultra will also come to the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic with the latest one 6.0 release so more or less all the health centric features are available on the galaxy watch 6 classic uh, however there are some of them which are exclusive to the galaxy watch ultra now there are some exclusive features on this watch which makes this watch an ultra and uh, those features may be specifically made for uh, pro athletes or uh, fitness freaks and uh, if you're a fitness freak or pro athlete then uh, this watch offers some amazing features like this watch can withstand the operating temperature anywhere between minus 20 degrees to uh, maximum of 55 degrees and you can take this galaxy watch ultra swimming in the ocean so there is no issue with using this watch in saline water however uh, this watch the galaxy watch 6 classic may not support all this and you can also go diving with this watch the galaxy watch ultra up to 100 meters uh, whereas that is not possible on this watch because this watch offers 5 ATM water resistance and probably about 50 meters you can dive but the watch ultra offers 10 atm water resistance and we also have got a dual frequency gps on the galaxy watch ultra which is not available on the galaxy watch 6 classic so if you are into uh, trekking or if you are into outdoor activities uh, and if you're tracking your location then uh, this will track the location with pinpoint accuracy whereas the galaxy watch 6 classic may not be able to do that so there are some of these features which are specifically made for pro athletes and for fitness fanatics but if you are into basic fitness tracking and basic uh, health centric features is what you need then you can go with the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic these are some of the major differences between these two watches I might have missed on some of the points so you can let me know in the comment section now the question is should you upgrade from the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic to the Galaxy Watch Ultra now like I already said if you are a fitness fanatic and if you are a pro athlete then this is the best watch you can go for uh, and I would say you should definitely upgrade from the Galaxy Watch Watch 6 Classic to the Galaxy Watch Ultra but if you are someone who use the basic health centric features and if you are using the watch for some smart features then there is no issue with this watch the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is still the best watch for you guys and in terms of looks you may prefer the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic's design this also comes with a rotating bezel which you may miss on the Galaxy Watch Ultra so you might want to stick to Galaxy Watch 6 Classic now the second question is if you're buying a Galaxy Watch in 2024 should you buy the latest Ultra or should you buy the uh, Galaxy Galaxy Watch 6 Classic I'm just comparing these two watches I'm not uh, uh, considering any other uh, predecessors of the Galaxy Watch so as far as this question is concerned again it completely depends on your requirements you can probably save some money and get all the features uh, on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic uh, so even in 2024 this is the best watch to go for however if you're looking for those uh, pro features on the Galaxy Watch Ultra more accurate and advanced health centric features dual frequency GPS tracking 10 ATM water resistance operating temperatures of uh, minus 20 degrees to uh, 55 degrees Celsius then this is the watch you should go for this is definitely a rugged watch that you can use in extreme conditions so this is for those pro athletes fitness freaks and this is for everyday use but that doesn't mean everybody cannot use it of course this offers everything that you need even for day-to-day -day use so there is no issue with buying this watch but if you want to save some money you can go for the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic because this watch also packs everything that you need and again in terms of looks you may prefer this so go ahead with the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic now you guys let me know which one do you prefer drop a comment and uh, let me know which watch you are buying have you pre-ordered something have you pre-ordered the Ultra or the Watch 6 Classic drop a comment in let me know and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your watches better and there are lots of contents on the galaxy phones as well on the channel so you can go ahead and subscribe to know your phone and watch better and give this video a like if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye